A federal civil rights lawsuit has now been filed against the city of Akron and seven current and former members of its police force in response to the 2021 arrest of Charles Hicks II. Police body camera video shows former officer John Turner packing snow into the face of Hicks three times during the arrest. It was a citizen who was treated less than human. He was treated like an animal. His rights were violated. The city of Akron and its police department maintain the internal investigation into this incident was handled properly. But News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis reports the 10 count lawsuit claims Hicks had his constitutional rights violated during that arrest. Akron police body cam video of the February 7, 2021 arrest of 28 year old Charles Hicks II. Police responding to a call of suspected domestic violence. Hicks seen with his hands up over his head, but seconds later, <laughs> Hicks heard gasping for air as police body cam video shows Akron officer John Turner packing three handfuls of snow into Hicks' nose and mouth while Hicks was down on the ground. The excessive use of force in violation of my client's constitutional rights. In response, Hicks attorney Eddie Siplin filed this civil lawsuit in federal court on January 2nd against the city of Akron and seven current and former members of the Akron Police Department. Siplin says the lawsuit was filed after he says the city of Akron incorrectly allowed Turner to resign during the internal investigation into his use of force and failed to continue to pursue criminal charges against Turner. If it were you or I, we quit our jobs, that's not going to stop the criminal investigation. We disrespected um, a citizen, and for that I apologize. The case had Akron Mayor Dan Horrigan apologizing for Turner's actions, but Turner told the city of Akron he resigned for personal reasons. And even though acting police chief Mike Capers admitted the use of snow is not trained by the Akron Police Department, Capers maintained it was Hicks who escalated the physical nature of his arrest. Failed to comply verbally, and physically with the officer's attempts to take him into custody. Capers also defended the results of his department's internal investigation. The bottom line, the APD internal investigation process does work. The city of Akron issued a short statement in response to the federal lawsuit saying the city typically does not comment on pending litigation, so we won't be providing comment or doing interviews at this time. Siplin says the 10 count lawsuit is also hoping to generate additional de-escalation training for the department and the officers involved in Hicks arrest. Now some policy changes and it may happen along with the passage of issue 10 with the Civilian Oversight Board. An attorney Siplin says the city of Akron now has 60 days to respond to the lawsuit in federal court. Siplin says if individual members of the Akron Police Department don't accept being served with the lawsuit, they would have only 21 days to respond. You know, News 5 will continue to follow up on this developing story. Reporting here from Akron Police Headquarters, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. Meanwhile, the city of Akron continues to move forward with the creation of a permanent citizens police oversight board. Applications to be on the board are due by noon, January 24th. In addition to seeking a board that represents Akron's diversity, the city is looking for applicants who have law enforcement, criminal justice and or civil rights experience. Applicants from the faith based community or those with a professional background in mental health services are welcome. City is also looking for applicants affiliated with organizations representing the economically disadvantaged and underserved Akron communities.